Hello, 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 hello. Fred here, your agronomist and a farmer. And today, the location of the class is in a different place, as you can see. It looks more of a dry land. And uh, the background there, very green vegetation. I'm here to know uh, the English name for the vegetation so that I can tell you about the vegetation. But for now, let concentrate on a farming project uh, this is a new farm introducing watermelon and uh, like I've always been telling you in a dry and hot areas is the best place to grow your watermelon that's why I came here so that I can show you the possibilities and the potential in these dry areas yes the only thing you need to have in these areas is water and enough water and we have a big liver flowing here that is tanda liver uh, the area is Garissa. This is Garissa County, one of the hottest area in Kenya. Yes, for those who have not been here, you can check more details about the area. It's one of the hottest and one of the most productive areas because uh, no farming has been, no serious farming has been taking place here. The liver has been flowing here, very big liver, all the way to the Indian Ocean, and tapped potential. So we are here for a project and it's watermelon project as you can see uh, the lad has been well prepared it was uh, i give the instructions on how it's supposed to be prepared bed will meet trenches will meet a spacing of three meters from one trench to the other and you can see now we have a big space where the watermelon will be lying so that's the best step and that's the biggest step in watermelon starting the next step is water. This has been my biggest song when you want to start watermelon farming. Make sure you have enough water. Because uh, now, before planting, we must do the irrigation. As you can see, uh, everything is set. Pipe is okay. And the irrigation has kick-started. And that is a, a starting point of watermelon farming. Don't go to the melon farming if you don't have enough water. Uh, the soil here is uh, sadly loamy, very sadly, more than loamy, so it, it takes a lot of water. Uh, and you can see how uh, even with the sadly soil, uh, the water is flowing freely. That means this water is enough and this is what we need for watermelon. Especially in these dry areas, you cannot come uh, joking with the water, so you need a lot of water in order to be successful into watermelon farming and watermelon journey. After irrigation, we went to the next step, which was uh, making holes. Like I told you, the soil is very soft. That you, uh, you, that way you're seeing it's very easy to make holes. Very easy. You can even use your hand to make holes. And uh, again, remember the spacing. Uh, uh, here because of the the, the bed is uh, three meters we are doing we are, we are planting at a spacing of 40 centimeters from one hole to the other um they also are made because uh, we have manure that we want to apply and now we cannot apply uh, manure on the fallow so we are making holes where we are going to apply the manure then do the planting if though there was no manure we would have just uh, planted the seeds uh, to the to those points where, where the, the holes are being made uh, because as you can see the irrigation has taken place well the soil is got enough uh, water and uh, now uh, the next step is planting so that way we are making holes we apply manure then we place our seeds in uh, as easy uh, planting is the easiest job when it comes to watermelon farming so when making holes, um, don't make uh, so deep holes. Make sure you make, uh, remember the, the bearing of the seed is supposed to be twice the size of the seed. So it's not supposed to be so deep. But because of the manure, we are making all that will hold enough manure. And uh, after making holes, we come putting the manure. Uh, because uh, it's bought manure and it's, uh, it's, it wasn't as much as uh, I expected. So we had to measure using at least one cup of fowl. You can use goat manure, you can use chicken manure, you can use cow manure. But I usually prefer the goat manure. Uh, the reason why I don't uh, recommend 
chicken manure is because it's very nitrogenous and uh, we are not in much into uh, nitrogen uh, uh, vegetable growing or uh, we are not much into vegetable growing that needs a lot of nitrogen so for watermelon doesn't need a lot of nitrogen though at some point you need nitrogen so we applied manure you know the the holes that you made and uh, don't ask whether the, the dry manure will affect the the, the, the seeds but after after planting we are going to do the irrigation again you usually do the the irrigation again which what we call fresh irrigation so don't worry about the dry manure yes so that's how we apply the manure and uh, after uh we complete in the manure uh that time we uh the, the lad was ready for for transplanting the seed drink I remember we had broken the domus of our seeds so it was to uh to go to the next process which was uh sometimes because of uh when breaking the domus we wash all the chemicals that were in the scene so we applied the seed dressing chemical uh to make sure this the, the, the seed drink the seed is very secure because uh these are new land and some of these lands comes with uh pests with pest that uh, we end up attacking this and so we dress them again and we dress them well this is not food color this is these are chemical used for seed dressing that way you see uh different uh seeds have different colors maybe pink maybe blue maybe green depending by the seed dresser that we used so we've already broken the seed dormancy for the 48 hours i i used to talk about if you have not watched this video of seed dormancy breaking go back watch how to break the seed dormancy to make them lady for transplanting uh we mixing them for them to get uh, uh to be covered well with the, with the chemical that we applied then the next step is planting from one hole to the other and we are doing a single seeding from in in, in each and every hole um because we are very sure uh, because we block the syndrome and see we are very sure that uh, the germination will be over 90 percent of uh, or 95 percent of germination so that we are doing one seed per hole i hope you learned something today on watermelon uh farming in garissa uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel if it's your first time you're watching and i'm so grateful for my subscribers for the support you are showing each and every day bye